update you a little bit on what's been going on this week. Um, today is actually Saturday and I haven't really vlogged because I've been really stressed out. Uh, me and Lou have been flat hunting and unfortunately it's not going too well. We found a really nice flat in Barnes. We fell in love with it, we fell in love with the area and the flat itself it was like completely renovated and just fabulous pretty much. Um, but it was a three bedroom flat and we would need another person for the third room and we couldn't find the third person unfortunately. So then we continued with the search. Uh, the flats that we liked, there was one of them that was already then taken. Then we went to see another two and the first one was not okay because it had a bedroom on the ground floor. And the second one was really nice as well, but um, and it was a two bed which would be perfect for the two of us, but um, we're not too sure about the neighborhood. <laughs> it's like a really strange neighborhood because like one side of it is nice, then the other side of the street is like really strange and I don't know, it's also not um, near to the tube, you have to take like the normal train which is really annoying because they're not as frequent and um, yeah, they're just like you just spend a lot of time um, commuting from one place to another when you don't have a tube. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but hopefully we can find something next week or I don't know, because we have to move in at the end of April. Um, so yeah, we have like, I don't know, 20 days to find a flat or to move to the flat, otherwise we'll be homeless, <laughs> which is something that I don't want to happen. Um, but yeah, so that's the flat update. But like I said, today's Saturday and I'm actually about to go to the boat race, uh, which is like a traditional boat race between Oxford and Cambridge. Yeah, it's just a traditional competition that's happening on the River of Thames. And I think I'm gonna take the tube to Hammersmith and um, see what's going on there. <laughs> Let's just pretend today is Saturday evening and not Sunday evening. I totally forgot to finish up yesterday's vlog. Um, but yeah, I went to check out the boat race. It was very interesting. I was definitely very underdressed. I wore my usual Saturday let's take a stroll through the park outfit, which is basically my leggings, my Nike shoes, um, and my parka. Um, so yeah, and when I arrived there, people were actually quite dressed up, like the men were wearing shirts and the women were there in dresses and like in heels. So uh, yeah, I felt very out of place. The British apparently don't do sports tire, <laughs> um, but I did watch the race. It was over in an instant. When it finished, I met up with Luthia and Charlie and we went to Charlie's house. Um, we ordered some Chinese, watched two movies. Um, the first one was The Art of Getting By and the second one was Inception. But I didn't finish watching Inception because I realized like 12 past 11 that my last train leaves at 11.40 or something like that. So I had to basically run to the train station to catch the last train. Thankfully, I managed, but when I was walking from my underground station to my flat, there were tons of people walking around with candles in their hands and I was really confused. But apparently there was an Orthodox Easter um, and there was like a midnight mass or something. So that was what was going on and yes, there is a Greek Orthodox church very close to where I live. So apparently that was um, what was going on. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's like the summary of my Saturday. I didn't do anything special today. I'm just catching up on things I needed to do, I guess. <laughs> I'm back. Um, sorry for the most boring vlog ever this week, but I really didn't have a lot of vloggable days. Um, I do, however, have quite a few updates, so I'm just going to start with them. First one is that I finished my internship yesterday. Yesterday was my last day. 
um, and it was kind of bittersweet. I'm very grateful for the opportunity I was given. I learned a lot, I had a lot of fun, and I really hope that I can one day pursue a career in like beauty and social media because this is definitely what I want to do. Now I'm back to being a full-time job seeker and I hope I can find something soon. Um, but I am taking kind of like a week off of job hunting because um, I need to catch up on some stuff that I didn't manage to do while I was doing my internship and um, looking for flats this past month um, and also my parents are coming to visit me on Saturday and they'll be staying here for like five days or something like that and we're planning to go on some trips like to Stonehenge and Oxford and Windsor so I feel like I need to time off um, because I haven't seen my parents since Christmas and I probably won't be seeing them for at least another six months so um, yeah I decided to kind of take a week off because I don't really want to have any interviews while they're here and I don't want to like start a new job or anything like that uh, so yeah I'm taking a week off because my parents are coming here and also because I am moving again. <laughs> the deal is I'm definitely staying in London for at least another six months. Um, I had a bit of a rough patch this past month to be honest. I had a lot of bad days. I was very anxious and like depressed and I was seriously considering moving back home at the beginning of May when my lease is up uh, because of the whole job situation and also because the flat hunting I didn't quite go according to the plan. I was a little bit afraid that I'll end up being homeless. Um, and yeah, if we didn't find a flat together, I would probably just move back home, to be honest. But um, we did find it and um, I'm really excited about it because it's a really nice flat in a really nice neighborhood. And I feel like I can finally breathe a little bit now and I'm feeling more optimistic about everything that's coming up and I am really determined to make this work because we don't really have like a contract signed yet but the landlady chose us and we already paid the safety deposit, we forwarded all our documents to the agency because we're going uh, through an agency this time. We're renting out a whole flat, not just like rooms. Everything should be all right. Um, what was I trying to say? <laughs> I don't even know. So yeah, we'll be signing a 12 month long contract with a six month break. So after four months, we have to tell the landlady whether we want to move out after six months or if we want to stay for like a whole year. And, and hopefully we can find jobs so that we can stay for like the full year there. I'm really like determined to find it now. I'll start looking for just anything. Um, I'll start applying to retail jobs just so that I can have some money coming in because I can't afford to go broke. I mean there will be bills to pay and I need to eat and stuff. So yeah, I'm quite determined to make this thing work and I'll be looking for just anything. And then I'll also probably like continue to apply to, I guess my kind of a dream job positions. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the plan. Let me know if you would maybe like to see a whole video or a blog post on um, flat hunting in London because I have a lot of information now because I've gone through everything and um, if some of you are planning to move here, I feel like the information that I have will be very useful to you. So let me know if you would like to see that. Oh, and uh, did you see my new glasses? I'm not even sure if you can see that they're um, new ones because they're quite similar to my old pair. Yeah, these are my new glasses from actually the same company that my old glasses were from. They're from Fermo. It's like an online store and their glasses are really cheap. Um, and like the delivery is really quick and you can have uh, prescription glasses made. So yeah, I really recommend it if you want to do that. I bought my previous pair there like, I don't know, f at least three years ago, but I feel like four years ago. And they're still completely fine, but Fermo offered me to send me a new pair for free and of course I accepted the opportunity and I feel like these glasses actually suit me more 
than the previous ones because they're a little bit like um, smaller um, and I don't know just let me know what you think but I really like them everything when it comes to the updates um, I will definitely have more exciting vlogs coming up in the next few weeks so please stay tuned uh, but thanks for watching this one and I'll see you soon bye